Good morning, boys and girls. I have with me my little cousin named Raylan, and I have my cousin named Kaylee. And today we are gonna do a drawing of an Easter bunny today. And you guys are gonna be able to either paint it or color it afterwards, depending on what mommy and daddy have at home, you guys are gonna get to color it afterwards. So we are gonna start with our paper. We are gonna have our paper this way, not this way, remember? Hot dog style, not hamburger style. Okay, so we're gonna have it straight up like this. Okay, and at the upper part of the page, we're gonna draw a medium size circle for the head. So I'm gonna show you what I do every single step I do. So medium size circle. See my medium size circle? Awesome. They're gonna show you theirs too. <laughs> okay, we are gonna add two black dots for the eyes inside the circle. So I'm gonna add two small black dots. It's okay, and I would remember, make sure you do this in pencil, or you can do it in your black crayon that we do at school. So I have my two black eye dots. Okay, then we're going to draw a small heart shape in the center for the nose, and we're going to forward it back like a J shape. So I'm going to draw a cute little heart nose. Here's the start of our bunny. Okay, then we are gonna add three whiskers on both sides of the face. We're gonna leave room for if you wanna make some cheeks later, if you either wanna paint them or if you wanna color them on. So we're gonna make three whiskers. Here are my three whiskers. My lines are getting a little bit funny. Try to use a different pen. Hmm. I oh, it looks so good. Mine are wibbly wobbly. We have three whiskers. Next, we're gonna work on our ears. Oh, different pen. Mom, do you have a different pen? So next, for one ear, we're going to draw two curved lines going up from the head to the top to look like they would go off the page. So I'm going to draw mine first. If you guys wait, I will show you what it looks like. Let me get a new pen. You do it to you do it first to draw the line. Then draw draw an ear. So here looks like the ear. On one side, okay, and on the next side, we're going to draw an arc from the head up to the left. Then we're going to draw a line from the left point up to the right and a line from the head to connect. Okay, so we're going to draw a big ear. Like that, Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi, I did it. Okay, and here's his other ear. Hey. Oh, you're showing, are you showing yours too? Why can I not see my mine's too bright? Oh, it's just because of the sun. Okay. Okay, and then at the bottom of the page, we're going to draw two curved arches from the center going out towards the sides for the paws. Then we're gonna add two small lines at the end of each paw for the toes. They're gonna look like two big hills. Okay, 
and here are his feet at the bottom. And remember, does Miss Brady always draw these correctly? No, not every time. Okay, then we're gonna draw two curved lines down from under the head on each side, connecting with the paws for the body. We're gonna draw two big lines connecting the body. I'm sorry I made my leg too big. It's okay. Everything doesn't have to be perfect, right Raylan? Yep. There's my body. Okay, and then we're going to draw two smaller curved lines down from the head, down from under the head on each side, connecting with the body midway down for the arms. Like this. Okay, and here are his arms. Here are mine. Yep, they can see yours. Look, I'll put it up there. There's Raylan's. Okay, and then we are going to add details to your Easter Bunny. So you can do whatever details you want. I'm going to add some lines to make him a little bow tie. And then I'm going to add some lines in his ears to make his ears look very pretty. What about the tail? Oh, and then we have to add the bushy tail. So let's do the bushy tail first. So at the bottom of the page, we're gonna draw a little cloud-like form. I'll do it first so you guys can see. Oh, and Kaylee got finished first, and there's my bushy tail. There's my bushy tail. And there's her bushy tail. It looks kind of funny. It does, because all of them are allowed to look different. Yeah. Somebody's look like this. So one. under the bunny's chin, I'm gonna add a bow tie. I wanna add a bow tie. Okay, we're gonna do it together then, okay? Okay. How do we make a bow? So and you can make your bow tie however you want. My bow tie looks a little funny, and I'm going to draw some lines in my bow tie. I want to see your bow tie. Make it a decorative bow tie. Can I see? Mm-hmm. Look at mine. I'm good. Oh, you did a good bow tie, too. Here's my bow tie on my bunny. Can you see mine, boy and girl? <laughs> I think I can see it. Okay. Then I'm going to draw some lines for my ears. Me too. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. I some... Can I use this? Mm hmm. Can I draw some lines? Mm hmm. Wait, what is it? If you'd like, you can use that. You can wait till I'm finished, or you guys can go ahead and decorate your own body however you'd like. Oh, Kaylee got done with hers. Okay, there are my lines. And that is my bunny for you guys. And so later on today, I will probably color it and I will post a final picture for you guys so that you guys can see my bunny. I would love to see your bunny and how you guys did it and how all of them probably look so different. I hope you guys use lots of colors on your bunny because bunnies are really colorful, especially Easter bunnies. Can't wait to see your work, guys. Bye. Say bye, guys. Bye. bye.